everyone. Today we're going to introduce some Greek gods. As the three brothers mentioned by our teacher before, Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades, they divided the universe between themselves and the two gods to determine their domains. That's why Zeus took control of the sky, the heavens, and authority over Mount Olympus. Poseidon took control of the seas, and Hades took control of the underworld. introduction of the main characters of the story that will be mentioned later by the second group, which are Hades and Persephone. So let's introduce Hades first. We mentioned earlier that Hades is the ancient Greek god of the other world, the place where human souls go after death. As a result, he has dominated over the dead and on death, darkness, earth-related disasters, Meadows and jewels. Hades was the first child of the Titan Cronus and Rhea. Surprisingly, he was the first of the three brothers to be born and swallowed by his father, but the last one to be regurgitated. These are the pictures of Hades. Hades means the unseen one, a suitable name since Hades is the ruler of the invisible world. However, the ancient Greeks rarely use its name. So, since minerals and precious metals are found on the ground, they also refer to Hades euphemistically as Pluto, the wealth giver. Unsurprisingly, Hades' Roman equivalent is called Pluto as well. As the king of the dead, Hades has a spooky figure, inspiring awe and terror in everybody. He was most commonly portrayed with a beard, a stolen, worn folder. Cerberus, the three-headed dog, which guarded the entrance to the other world, is usually beside him. And so we'll talk about Persephone. Persephone was the daughter of Zeus and Zeus's sister, Demetra. The rights of Demia and Persephone speak to the experience of life that remain through all times the most mysterious, birth, sexual, and death. And the reason is that when Persephone returns to the underworld, all things wither on earth. And when she returns to the earth with her mother, all things revive, which is a symbol of rebirth and death. Persephone was also the wife of Hades and the queen of underworld. All the myth of her abduction at Hades was often used to explain the cycle of seasons. Since Persephone was a dual deity, which means double god, she was both the queen of the underworld as Hades' wife, and also a goddess of fertility as the god of Demetra. In ancient Greek artistic modeling, the image of Persephone reflects the duality. As the goddess of harvest, in fertility, Persephone was portrayed as a girl picking flowers in the meadow or, hold, or holding a harvested ear of wheat on her hand. As the female ruler of the underworld, her image is usually wearing a robe and carrying a scepter or holding a torch in one hand and a pomegranate in the other. Do you know how Persephone became Hades' wife? 